Hey guys, welcome to Tech Savvy Buyer. My name is Ahmad Zia, and on today's episode of Quick Tips, we're going to talk about power supplies. So, you're on your journey of building your first PC, or you might be in the market to replace your power supply. And you might have heard some jargon about the different efficiencies that power supplies offer. So let's start off by saying, what does the efficiency of a power supply actually mean? Now, you can buy a power supply that comes as basic, bronze, silver, gold, or platinum. And you usually see the rating right on the bottom of the box where it shows 80 basic or 80 plus bronze, and generally you get the gist of it. So let's talk about efficiency. The efficiency rating on power supplies basically just tells you how efficient it is at drawing AC power, which is electricity from the wall, and converting it into DC power that goes to your system. Now most of the power supplies you buy will always say 80 plus, which essentially means that they're at least 80% efficient. So what exactly does that efficiency rating mean? Well, let's take a small example in consideration. Suppose you have a system that only requires 100 watts of power, and your power supply is rated at 80% efficient. That actually means that your power supply is going to draw 125 watts from the wall just to supply 100 watts to the system. Hence, it's 80% efficient. So now you might be wondering, what happens to the other 20% when it's not pulling more than 80% efficiency? And the answer is really simple. That other 20% is just being generated as heat. Any electricity that's not being converted from AC to DC power is simply being turned into heat. Now another common misconception about power supplies is people tend to think that if you buy a power supply that's 850 watts, that it's constantly drawing 850 watts of power from the wall. That isn't true. Simply stated, whatever the load of your system is required at the moment of time that you're using it, that is what the power supply is going to be supplying to it. So if you do buy an 850 watt power supply, it isn't going to be drawing 850 watts all the time. Okay, so what does that mean for the different ratings that are on the bottom? Why should I get a gold one or a platinum one or a silver bronze? Which one do I choose? Answer is pretty simple actually. Each one has a different efficiency rating. And if you go from a bronze to a gold or to a platinum, the more efficient it actually becomes. Now bear in mind, there aren't any power supplies to date as of yet that are 100% efficient. They'll always be around a max of about 90 to 92% and at the minimum 80% efficient. And the jumps between silver to gold, or bronze to silver, or even gold to platinum for that matter, they're very minimal, only a couple percentage points. So now the question is, which one should you buy? So the answer is actually pretty simple. If you want to save money in the long run and make your system as efficient as possible, always go with the power supply that's rated the highest. Now they might be pricier up front, but rest assured that in the long run, it's going to make its return back just in the amount of efficiency it's capturing. So if you do stick with, let's say, a gold one like I have here, at a 50% load to 100% load, it's close to 85 to 87% efficient at drawing power and supplying it to the system. Compared to one if you had that was a basic 80, it would always only be 80% efficient. And so a little bit of math and calculating how much you use your system per day, and if you multiply that across the year, you can determine with the cost of electricity how much money you'd actually save if you switched over to a gold rated or a platinum rated power supply unit. So guys, I hope this answers all the common questions that you guys have probably had in your mind about power supplies. If I did, please leave this video with a like and subscribe to my channel as it does help it grow. Until then, I will see you on the next episode of Quick Tips.